Hello there. This is Ron Burgundy with your nightly news. For tonight's top story, we are bringing you coverage on the Kentucky Hot Brown. Now, some of you may not know what this is, but you will soon find out. This is a food that I, as well as many others, find to be very delicious and important to me on a personal level. Now we'll switch on over to Mary Jo for the latest on this Southern creation. Thank you, Corey, for that wonderful introduction. I am here today at Keeneland Hall at the University of Kentucky, bringing you live coverage on the Kentucky Hot Brown. To start off, I'll fill you in on what a hot brown really is. A hot brown is a type of open-faced sandwich that originated at the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it was started as an alternative to the typical late-night ham and egg dinners. The hot brown is made up of many ingredients that, when put together, create a delicious yet heavy and what some may consider extreme food. The hot brown has ham, turkey, tomato, bacon, mornay sauce, and Texas toast or sourdough bread depending on your preference. Now, as I just said, some may consider the hot brown to be an extreme food because of all the heavy ingredients that have been put together. Don't believe me? Here, we'll cut to a clip of the famous travel channel program Man Vs. Food to see what Adam Richmond has to say about this southern delicacy. The legend began in 1926 when Chef Frederick Schmidt created the hot brown for weary ballroom dancers. This was meant as sort of uh, late night drunk eats. It was absorbing all the bourbon, so they can go to bed a little bit easy that way. Well, how do we make the official original hot brown sandwich here at the Brown Hotel? Well, we start with Texas toast. Chef Laurent cuts one slice into a square and another into two triangles. We don't want the dry bar. We want kind of the soft inside, soak up the morning. And when you need that bread, it's nice and tasty. All right, now do we break the turkey up by hand or do we chop it up? No, we break it by hand. We want to keep it as most uh, natural as possible. I love that. We add two wedges of beefsteak tomatoes and load the dish into the oven. While it cooks, we make the marvelous Mornay sauce. This is sauce de Mornay. It is the sauce that rocks the cradle. And it's the only one you'll ever need. So it starts like a bechamel sauce. So you have butter, you have flour, and then usually milk. Correct. The little difference that we do here at the Brown Hotel is we eliminate the milk and the classic bechamel and we do it. Strictly with cream. Strictly with cream. Now, what kind of cheese are you going to use to We're actually We're using make... uh, Pecorino Romano. Pecorino Romano, it's an Italian cheese, and it has uh, an oddly sharp bite, so it's going to work with those big flavors of the bacon and that roasted turkey. Oh my gosh. My oh my oh Mornay. We take the turkey out of the oven and ladle on a delicious blanket of Mornay. Nice and slow. Oh, oh, oh. What do we add to this dish next? We got some nice bacon. <laughs> oh, we get to add bacon to it. We cross two slices of bacon, sprinkle on more cheese, and slide it into a broiler known as a salamander. Because we're using an earthenware crock, it's going to say melty and juicy, and oh my God, put it in the damn salamander. <laughs> melty bliss is achieved, and the hot brown is complete. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Crispy bacon, roasted juicy turkey, melted cheese, the acidic burst of the tomato that cuts through it. It's superb. And the fact that the bread is both toasted and gets spongy, it soaks up all the flavor. Without question, one of my favorite comfort foods in the world, right here in Louisville, Kentucky. So there you have it. The Kentucky Hot Brown simply must be an extreme food if it earned the honor of being featured on Adam Richmond's Man vs. Food as extreme foods are all that he ever uses. He also stated that the Kentucky Hot Brown is delicious and I simply must agree. Now that we have covered the extreme portion of our Hot Brown, it's time to move into something a little more personal. We have an interview from a citizen of Garrett County in Lancaster, Kentucky, and a former employee of the hospital in Garrett County. We have an interview with Mrs. Mary Beth Wilson here to tell us how the hot brown moved from being only in Louisville, Kentucky, to becoming a well-known tradition in her hometown. You should be warned, though, that this interview may make you feel terribly homesick and only wish that your community could come together in such a way as Garrett County's would every Friday at the hospital cafeteria of all places to enjoy this food. My name's Mary Beth Wilson. I'm an RN. I used to 
used to work at Garrett County Memorial Hospital in Lancaster, Kentucky. We had a food director named Mae Cornelius who specialized in making hot grounds. People in town would call the cafeteria to see what the menu was and when Mae was having her hot grounds, everybody from the banker to the baker to the mayor to the mortician would come eat lunch. May's Kentucky Hot Brown consisted of toasted bread, sliced turkey, sliced ham, a cheese sauce that she made from cheddar cheese that was melted, tomato, two strips of crisp bacon, and her signature was topping it off with steamed broccoli. This all cost about three dollars and fifty cents. program tonight and we will soon return to your regularly scheduled program and the rest of the news along with the weather coming up and I would just like to say thank you for listening to everything I had to tell you about the hot brown and I hope that these personal stories along with the fact that 
that enrichment that it was important will influence you to give the hot brown a chance and just find out where you can go with this food. Thank you.